My friend Stefan picked me up early in the morning. We drove to Bulau and uh, parked our car at a parking lot near the woods. The temperature was minus one degrees. Then we started our hike on the approach tail to the Nibelungen Trail. Passing a little hamlet, we reached the junction we had aimed at. The sun came out and made the moment perfect. So, we have reached the crossing. Here the alternative trail hits the main trail and we are following the alternative trail now. See you later. After about an hour, we reached a sunny meadow where we had our first break. We've just had a little break and have eaten a little luncheon. The weather is perfect. It is very warm in the sun, but very cold in the shade. Such is life. See you later. The first five kilometers lead you in a big circle around the village Bulau. And uh, here we are right at the other end, where we had started an hour before. Well, not far away from our path, we saw these wonderful purple crocuses and a little pond, probably full of trouts and due to the melting of snow, the rivers and creeks and all the waters are full and it is fun to watch them. So this is our path that leads us back into the woods and we would follow a very long, lovely valley that was about three kilometers long. And then we entered the dark forest again and uh, surprise surprise the there was a little run right in the middle of our trail yeah such is life sometimes you walk in the current of a little tiny baby river however most of the path was dry and in a very good shape, unlike the day before when Svetlana and I had to hike through deep mud because of the woodwork that was going on in the forest. We happily continued our hike. Here come two guys and I'm trying to translate what they are saying. This one here says, oh damn, I could have, I could have stayed in bed. It's so freaking cold. Now I must stumble through the woods. seconds after him his friend comes and he has just said not so fast Klaus in the shade the ground looks like white powder sugar because there is still a little bit of snow left over and due to the storms we have had this year yeah this guy has had it and uh, we must sometimes walk a detour because our trail is blocked by fallen giant trees so here's this uh, scenic view and this is a spot where there is lure for white boar. 
But eventually we left the woods again. We found a very, very nice spot in the sunshine, a bench and a table. There's even a little birdhouse. And that's really a good place to stay and eat some good food. And the icing of the cake is not the table, it is not the food, it is the bin next to the bench where you can get rid of some extra weight. Stefan is enjoying the sun, so we have cleaned the table. That's a little bit of artistic work. We get ready and continue our, our hike, passing a forest cemetery. Well, and uh, this huge lawn is a very long stretched piece of land that leads directly towards the city of Erbach. On the way we stop at a horse paddock. Uh, we do like horses, so we stopped and had a look at them and enjoyed the beauty of these majestic animals. We are already close to town and in an area called the Three Ponds area because there are three ponds, ha 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 and uh, a little waterfall. It is a kind of recreation area for town people. There were not many today, probably because it was still very cold. Uh, however, a few children were there feeding the ducks on the pond and uh, enjoying the day. Well, you cannot see the children. I didn't film 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 them because I wasn't sure if the parents would agree. Well, but I filmed the ducks because I was sure the ducks would agree. And uh, after that recreation area we went into town. We reached the youth hostel where we had parked a car. Then we fetched the second car and we would drive home. Thank you very much for having watched it. Bye bye.